coming to you live on YouTube. I've had a little bit of wine. And this is a game I've been wanting to play for a little while. It looks very interesting. It's one of those games that creep up on you and I feel is undeniable. And I'm going to play. So, new game, Firewatch. Uh, this game... Let's see who this game is by. Voices. Firewatch. Campo Santo. Yeah. Gosh. Multiple award-winning Golden Joystick Awards, Unity Awards, South by Southwest Gaming Awards 2017, Game Developers Choice Awards, BAFTA winner. I see Julia. Am I fat? I see Julia. Do I? Oh. She's about your age. Late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. I am drunk. <laughs> so, what's your, you know, major? You're pretty. Oh, I'm going bold. Go hard or go home. You're pretty, she says coolly. You're pretty? You're. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply, simply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Hells yeah. All right. This is ASMR Radio. I don't get that, but whatever. Oh, I'm moving now. Oh, uh, R2 to use objects. I'm going to pick up my backpack. Right on. Uh, I'm in an elevator. All right, so. <gasps> I'm going to assume this is my truck. I'm going to get in. I'm off on the golden road. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Well, guess what? There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julie is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad can happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Ah, uh, you pick up the beetle and she names him Bucket. <laughs> Bucket. All right, you adopt the German Shepherd and name him Mayhem. Look, dudes, I love a badass dog better than anyone, but I'm a sucker for cuties. I'm gonna go with Bucket. Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Oh, Julia loves him, and you love him too. Uh, this is all text and shit. 1979. Oh, check that out. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat is still radiating off the high desert. What do you think about the kids? Oh, shit. Oh, it's getting serious. What do you think about kids? She asks. I'm a sucker for kids. In that case, we should probably get married. <laughs> yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Mm. This is not a wedding ceremony. Or a delivery room. 
What the fuck? Where's my backpack? Alright, so, uh, alright, so I'm Thoroughfare Trailhead. Uh huh. Two forks. Uh huh. Where's the you are here sign? I don't know. Let's keep walking. Bum, 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 bum. Love the graphics so far. I'm a suf uh, sucker for. Oh. I'm a sucker for good graphics, but you know, if there's a style to it, I don't mind. It's a Thursday night, and Julia's four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You ignore her. Which one's more pissier? I want to get mad. Ignoring is, a, is rude. If you get mad, at least you're acknowledging her. Oh, Jesus Christ. You call her an inconsiderate... No. Yeah, go fuck yourself, me. Oh, son of a bitch. She still likes to draw. Plants and research. From research, she draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. Are you... Motherfucker, I am a fofo. Nah, I'm He-Man. I'm gonna be He-Man. I look awesome. What do I look like? Is this my getaway moment? Do we have like... What the fuck? Oh, it's a tree. That was weird. Oh, okay. I have more than just go controls. Uh. Okay, I have one other control zoom oh and run let's run uh two forks lookout tower eight miles uh x oh stylized man looks awesome year later 1982 during the summers you and julia enjoy walking bucket at night Oh, there's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to... What? No. No, 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 no. Fuck the dog! Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking. When she's stressed, I confront the attacker. I scare him the sh I, I scare him the fuck away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks me to take a different path from that day forward. Look, the motherfucker had a knife. He kicked my fucking dog. I am I you know, I should have beat the shit out of him. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. Either. From then on, you walk. From then on, you walk by the river. Two years later. Ah, are you fucking kidding me? Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, two thousand miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. No, absolutely not. I go with her. I have nothing going for me. I'm a bum. Are you kidding me? You ask if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. Fuck, what the hell's my problem? You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. What the fuck am I doing? What? She 
she didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Julia is sent home from Yale and paid leave after having an episode that were important to her research. The fuck? She was... No. Fuck no. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's only 41 years old. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Uh. Ah, uh, god damn. I ain't picking up my journal. I don't want to read about the bad shit. This is getting depressing. Ha! Ha! That's my dick. Look, it's longer. Okay, it's bigger. Huge. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Okay. Mm. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. He drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and it has to be brought home by the police. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Wow. Huh. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. And she gets worse. The fuck did I decide to play? God damn. 1988, you spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weeks visit from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You are determined to make... No, 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 no. These are personal decisions made by me, not some fucktard who didn't beat the shit out of someone for kicking my dog. This is... This is legit. What the fuck? I'm He-Man who can't stand to see his wife go like this. God damn. Look, this is hitting a little close to home. Not because it's a video game. Not because there's just melodic emo music in the background. But because I have a wife. If that happened to me, that would be fucking devastating. No wonder I decided to get lost in the middle of the fucking woods. Where am I even going? This way. Woo! I'm ready to see a fucking chipmunk. Let's run. Oh. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Go! Okay. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get m the worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. I can't do. You can't do that, dude. You can't do any. And she. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. Start going out after you... You put a chair in... F you go... To the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time you... Tell Sheila, the bartender, everything's... Uh, everything, it's a huge weight off. You're home and in... You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple of nights a week. Mm. 
why only a couple nights a week he man what the fuck are you doing one night blow it oh shit he's trying to hide it but you tell your sister-in-law Susan Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia they can't believe the state your house is in then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them you don't argue you sail visit soon a few weeks go by summer's coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job Look, shit gets real sometimes. Don't fucking pussy out. Sucks. Assholes. But. Oh, fucking shit, Julia. What is this place? Where the fuck am I? Lookout tower. Okay, fine. Alright. Do I have that journal? Where's that journal? Notes and documents. All right. I have none. Whoa. Okay. Uh, lower compass. L. Uh, L1. Oh, sweet. Okay. Ugh. Whatever. Let's go the fuck up these stairs. Rickety old stairs. What kind of job is this? I would sleep out on this porch nine times out of ten. This is gorgeous. Alright. I said half an hour. 19 minutes in. We are 20 minutes there. Okay. Most of it has been depressing as fuck. But I guess we now know my background. On button? On button? Hello, Two Forks Tower. <gasps> Pine Pinecone. Two Forks Tower. This is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Hello? Hello? Contact supervisor on the radio. Hold, oh, hold L2. Hello? Release L2, um, okay. Hello, whoever this is. It's Henry, right? I have yeah. a voice. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Okay, Delilah. So Wait. what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? Fuck yeah, what's they do. You? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Go ahead what? Reply. Uh... You've killed three ex-husbands. I'm rebelling against mom. Okay, Julie's you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Sure Ouch. isn't. Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Okay. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally nope. decided to write your novel. That's nope. the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Nope. Well, yeah. Welcome to the job. Yay. Firewatch. Ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed 20 minutes of depressing backstory. God damn. But now I'm finally in the tower. Firewatch, day one. Two days after hiking, I take a stab at the person, the nice lady. You know... Okay, Delilah, on the phone. Day one continues. We're loading now. So if you're just tuning in, sorry. 
chroma key is not working correctly. This is my first time actually streaming live on YouTube. And I am writing a fucking morning, book. Well, I guess good God damn. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Yep. Sorry, I guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. All right. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. I'm in. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne Studios. This is to spot, you guessed it, fi... What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. What the hell? Your west facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh... Are those west. Fireworks? What? F uh, yep. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Yeah, uh, well, yeah. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Take Go your pants off, dance like a little girl, and be happy about it. That's my fucking job. Can I get the shit out of them? Can I write them a ticket? I'm not really into Do you discipline. Think you can handle that? Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Uh, I will. You probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. What there rope? There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Convenient. That's one word for it. All right, so I am reading a map. Uh, let's see. West. At least I'm going the right direction. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. We are now trying to find fireworks, I guess. Look, I don't give a shit as long as I'm not being depressed by awful backstory. Not going to lie, my grandfather passed away from dementia. It was tough. Thank God my grandmother wasn't alive for that. It would have been tougher. Enough about me. That's depressing enough. Imagine if you had read the backstory I just went through. Good God. X, come on. That is the X button. Uh, 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 low, uh, l lower map. Oh, there we go. I have to lower the map. Probably just find it via the sound. Are those still fire? It sounded like fireworks. Oh, this is the bucket she must have mentioned. I found the supply box. Great. So, are there a lot of these out in the woods? Sure. Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. A whole lot of them. Okay, can I not open them? All right. Ah, here we go. One, two, three... Oh, hello. Read the note. Ron. Hey, man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars he liked hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm getting back. Yeah, Dave. Hey. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. 
That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Hmm. Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Apparently yet fucked. Kind of what the job attracts. Do people lose their shit doing this job? There's a note that says a guy just left his post. It happens, yeah. You're not gonna pop your top, are you, Henry? Oh, sure, yeah, I will. On it. Awesome. Alright, so, old rope. Uh, can I put this thing away? Uh, Alright, old rope. Oh, can I take a fucking pine cone? Granola bar. Can I eat? Drop. Examine. Eat. Hold. I'm hungry, dude. Don't fucking blame me. Examine. L1. Whatever. I don't care. Alright, so... Compass. West. Uh, zoom in. All right, let's go. Rock and rollers, ladies and gentlemen. If you're tuning in, we are going to fuck some fireworkers up. Oh, it's at least it's getting closer. I like it. It's gonna be fun, right? Fun, fun. Oh. My name is Mr. Park Ranger Henry. You have the right to remain fucked up. Well, there they are. Oh, a little ways away. How did she know the fu Okay, first of all, how did she even know the... It's steep. Alright, I'm already suspecting this. How the hell... She's on the radio... How did she even see the fireworks? Unless she's close by. Right? That's a little weird. No, no, no! And this is how Henry died. Rope's broken. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. I would cry. Otherwise, uh, west. Uh... Oh, there I am. Blinking dot. L1 to zoom in. There I am. Lake Trail. So I gotta go. I'm still going west. Okay. So I guess this way. Alright. Let's go. Sounds like they stopped the fireworks. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah. Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Well, it looks like it's about to get dark. Uh Oh shit, ferret or Irish. Single malt? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. Probably don't need this in my life right now. Let's find some fireworks. Beer can. Red Eagle. Nice, nice, nice. You know what? It. It. I'm not the main. Ha! <laughs> no. Take it. Okay, can I... Oh, confiscate. Fuck yeah. Oh, I'm totally taking the whiskey. He knows. Their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah. Sure did. We just found where they're hanging out. Alright. Oh, hello. Things are drying. But 
they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Then they're naked. Exciting. Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on. No. Naked ladies, same as anyone. No. This, you know? Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. out here isn't just stupid it's illegal yeah so is stealing asshole that's so fucking bogus you're gonna fucking bogus i am a sad man out in the woods i'm taking your stereo bitches It'll fine. I, uh... Oh, wow. Um, the music's uh, a little loud. Oh, sorry. I took their stereo. Okay. Well, I'm totally uh, taking their stereo. Hold on. Then? Yeah, I think so. But seriously, though, thanks for dealing with it. Skeezy! Uh, nah. Look, I'm just jamming out to this music. It's past half an hour, and I'm still jamming. So I'll make it back to the tower, and we'll call it quits. Okay? Okay. Uh, beer can, whatever. Whiskey, definitely. So there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no. But that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. The music's not bad. I like it. Uh, quick question though. How the f uh, I go this way. Okay. Oh no. Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion I'm not gonna get up this way. Shit. Alright, uh, map. Alright. Zoom in. Crap. Uh, all right. Shit, I gotta go. To the okay, change plans. Taking the music with me, though. I gotta go the long way around. Judge, judge, judge. Push, 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 push. Look, alright. So. Alright, I'm done with this. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Figured. Is beer open or closed? No, it's closed. Whatever. Can't drink the whiskey, so I'll just I'll just keep on going. Beer, 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 can. 
All right. So, ladies and uh, wait. Okay. Ladies, wait. Hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. No, I'm not. I broke my back. Damn you, bitch. This is not a river. It looked like a river on the map, but okay. Dude, 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 dude. It's got cell shading for days. Look, this is great artistry and... Uh, let's see... As long as they don't run into any Vietnam flashbacks. So Julia, I'm okay. Uh, I'm going to cross the river here. Oh, look like smoke for a second. All right. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. Uh-oh. What is it? Um... I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. <sighs> I know. I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Uh, look, it's fine. I'll I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to uh to a minimum. Whatever. I don't care. Anyway, I like it when drunk women talk to me. Back to your lookout. That's how I met Julia. Oh dear. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. 10-4. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice, all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Me. Would you believe? What? Map is updated. Nope, open. Do the flashlight. Oh, our three toggles flashlight. Awesome. What do I do with this? I examine. It's an antler. Good job. Awesome. Okay. Going into a cave. Oh, hello. Climb these rocks. Sweet. I have a sneaking suspicion. Awesome. Okay. This is the way I want to go. So, 40 minutes into the stream. Fine. As long as we keep it under an hour, I can still edit. Uh, report the fucking guy. Do you not what? Okay, say something. See something, say something, right? There was a fucking guy there. <sighs> a little glitch in the game, I guess, but we'll continue. Jump! Here we go. Up the hill we go. To bed. We're gonna get there. I just want to go home, climb these rocks. I have not even checked my map. I don't even know if I'm on the right path. Oh, I apparently am on the right path. We'll keep on going. I'll climb. Decided to go the route of the cave. D 
don't even have a rope. I have no belayer. I have nobody to protect me. I'm going to fall and die. Let's see. Uh oh. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Oh, really? Well, you're so happy you missed the backstory. I was in tears. Wine doesn't help situations like that, okay? But I am back home. So guess what? Once I... I'm taking this. This is gonna be my buddy. This will be my Wilson from now on. You can't stop me. We're in love. What? Typewriter. Uh oh. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Oh, fuck. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. I better be well compensated. I'm going to read about the Patriots. I'm going to fucking read about Death Strikes at 2. Birds of Wyoming. I'm going to be pissed until then. What is this? What is this? What is this? Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? <laughs> uh... Girls at the I lake, maybe? Probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Sure, why not? Violent campers? <sighs> okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but you stay right there. Else happens, We're gonna have fun later. Rager, whatever. Forest Thanks. burns. I need you to feel safe out here. All right. <sighs> don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up, and you'll have an excellent summer. Look, I'm going to throw bleach at you. Day two. Okay, fine. Day two, motherfucker. Look, 45 minutes in, day two. I've already been depressed. My water tower. I mean, I did catch the two naked girls. Sorry, Cheese Man CT. You missed that fun. <sighs> Coffee. Oh, I drink some whiskey. Hey, wake up. Okay, I'm up. God damn. Look, woman. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <laughs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Glory, huh? <laughs> I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Mm -hmm. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? You probably had to hike through a cave yesterday to get home. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I did. 
So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. My name is Henry, bitch. Can I not reply? I want to reply to her. <sighs> Can't even reply to her. All right, so we've already witnessed our first few bugs. If you don't reply in time or you look at something else that has a toggle uh, option, you lose the ability to talk. So that's good to know. Uh, fuck the birds of Wyoming. Let's put them back on. Oh, hey! Okay. Let's clean this place up a little bit, shall we? Alright. Books. Let's pick you up. Bookshelf. Um, the Patriots. Gun. I'm going to put you back. Put you back there. Um, the ba -ba 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 yep. What else? What else? What else? Uh, what? Bleach. God damn it. Um, um, put back. Bleach on the stove? Fucking retarded. Can I drink? No. Alright, look. Mug. Oh my god. So stupid. Escape from two orcs. God, good for you, Henry. You're a nerd. All right. Okay. Oh, look at that. Let's see. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, so far this is Firewatch. Uh, those cold dead eyes make the wonder what he plans to do with the shovel. I'm going to shove this shovel up his ass. Oh, they are dead. Look at him. Look at him. Come on, Burns. You know what this is really about. Uh-huh. I see you. That's all. What? 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 Uh-huh. You talk back to me. You talk back to me. I'm gonna fucking open this door. R2. No, that's right. You take a dive. That's what happens when you talk back. Burns. All right. <sighs> Time to burn this motherfucker to the ground. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Firewatch. I've had a bit of wine, so I'm tired. But so far. So far, so good. I'm intrigued, to say the least. Graphics, love the style of it. Um, story, I definitely have a backstory. Holy fuck, I have a reason why I'm here away from everybody that wants to talk to me. Bad enough, I have okay Delilah here radioing in. It's okay, because she has a pretty voice. It's all right. But anyway, this is part one, day two, of Firewatch. I'm going to discontinue this, because i got to go to bed. Got a job to do. Not here, tomorrow. At my real job. Real life. Hi. But anyway, listen. Um, I'm going to play this game again. It's fun, and I feel like things are about to happen. I'm going to go find them naked chicks, and I'm going to tell them what's what. Not really. I'm going to give them back their whiskey apologize say hey I need as many people on my side not thrashing my watchtower so plus that weird random guy I saw didn't get to respond to Delilah about that we'll find out why later on uh, thank you so much if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe if you liked me bawling like a baby because of my goddamn backstory like and subscribe won't happen too often more blood and guts Destiny 2 at 10. Anyway, this is Mazarlo. Thank you so much for joining me. Signing off now. Peace out, y'all.